Hi everyone, this is the first video in a series of videos that I am calling Sculpt Creek Challenge. This is where I'll be taking pictures off of Pinterest and the internet, and I'll be trying to duplicate the project with my own take. In this video, I'm going to try to make these two bowls. I will be using Sculpt Crete and Ultrasoft. Now to start, I'll be mixing three parts Sculpt Crete to one part water. I will stir it until I get a uniform mixture. I will add more sculptcrete until I get a thick, thick consistency. Then I'll dump it on, dump the contents onto a garbage bag. Now knead it like dough until you get a clay consistency. Then flatten it like a pancake. Roll it out with a rolling pin. Note here that uh, a light coating of oil on the rolling pin will help the uh, sculptcrete from sticking to the rolling pin. Once it's rolled out, I can place it into a form. I am using a cereal bowl that I purchased from the dollar store. I form it in the bowl, working my way around and cutting off any access. I then add any cutoffs where I need to and smooth them out. At this point I can spend some time with water and a brush and make it really nice and smooth. I'll be doing this twice so that I have two bowls to work with. At this point I will need to cover the bowls and let them sit overnight so that I have a strong platform to work off of. The next day, the hardened sculptcrete can be gently removed from its form. These bowls are a smooth plastic and very flexible, so they come out fairly easy. Once removed, I like to spend some time with some sandpaper and knock off the hard edges. Now I wet the outside of one of the bowls. I make small batches of sculptcrete, and this is what I use to make the spikes on the bowl. Notice I add the spikes, and then I come back with water and a brush to blend them in. I continue to do this until I finish. I used a piece of plexiglass to make a flat spot on the bottom. This will help uh, it set flat on the table. Of course you don't need plexiglass, you can use a board or even a book would work just fine. You can stop at any time and let the, ones, let the spikes or whatever you're working on finish or harden and then start again an hour or two later or even a week later. It builds on itself very nicely. Now onto the second bowl. I'm going to use Sculptree Ultra Smooth. I'm doing this because it's easier to do fine details and it comes out a bit smoother. After wetting the bowl, again, I make a small batch of Ultra Smooth and I tried making coils and then into a circle and blending these into the bowl and this worked great. However, it was taking too long. So the next thing I tried was making a little ball, then I smashed it into the bowl and then hollow it out using the back end of a paintbrush or even a sculpting tool. Again I smooth the clay with water and a paintbrush. I let these dry for several days before painting. You can speed this process up by setting it in the sun or by a heater vent. And when they were good and dry I decided to paint them. And I decided to use red and white painting on two coats. I use a cheap acrylic paint and this works fantastic. I think a coat of gesso also might be helpful. I use this Alumilite clear coating resin that is food safe once it's hardened. I pour a small amount of A and B in equal parts and I, mix it, I then mix well. I then transfer it into a third container and mix well again. This is so it's perfectly mixed and I don't ha end up with any sticky spots on the bowl. I coat each bowl with a very thin coat inside and out. It's also a good idea to put plastic down and wear gloves as this stuff is very messy. Also follow all of the safety measures from the manufacturer. Once the inside coat is all done and sets up fully, I turn it over and coat the outside. Now remember at this point to do a very thin coat or you will get drips that you'll have to clean up later. Well there you have it. This is how you use Sculptcrete to make some homemade pottery without a kiln or a studio and a whole bunch of equipment. Something you can do right at your kitchen table. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Did I nail it or fell it? Also, subscribe to the channel and follow this series. I have many, vo many more videos coming soon. You can, you can purchase Sculptcrete at Sculptcrete.com.